Hey you, welcome back to the channel and I hope you all are having a great day. <clears throat> Beautiful day outside. Um, but I want to uh, take a moment to do this video because of the, the big announcement we got with EOS Block One. Um, and uh, do a little bit of analysis on uh, what we got, um, you know, uh, in um, relation to our uh, predictions. Um, and uh, basically, overall, how we feel about this, uh, you know, what are our thoughts on this? Was it all we uh, wanted it to be? And also going to go a little bit into why Bitcoin and YK.com, I think, is still the king in this area uh, or somewhat the area uh, many of us wanted this to go into. But anyway, I'm going to focus now on the, the most the highlight, I think, the most important part of the uh, entire announcement that many of us were focused on and that was this type of steam it 2.0 the social network that many of us had predicted was coming out right so how that fear is it was it what we wanted it to be and is it something that uh you know we think is going to be significant in the cryptocurrency space so let's talk about the pros of it first because there were definitely pros to this, and I and I and some of these things I was agreeing with, a hundred percent. Wasn't now, uh, you know, what I thought it, you know, could I thought it could be much more than it was. But let's let's talk about what the good parts of it was. So it stressed a lot about bots, right? That it will be no bots. That they're going to use this um, authentic authentication system, right? Uh, to make sure that they're not duplicate accounts and uh, people just trying to exploit the system, right? Uh, and that would be done through some type of, I don't think it's really explained how they would do it, but it's some verification process that they're going to be able to, to, to use through your phone uh, numbers and, and things like that, right? Um, and so they stressed a lot about the bots. I, I think it was like the rec... Uh, blows thrown at steam it you know all the problems wrong with steam it wells coming in just buying their way through the system and then using these bots to uh, basically push their articles and posts to the front uh, uh, greatly reducing the integrity of the steam it network right making people in some cases uh, not feel it was worth using or fair so it seems like voice.com is going to remedy that situation. They, they have that uh, worked out some way where they'll be able to stop these duplicate accounts. Now, the next part was um, that you can't buy these tokens. You can't sell them either. Now, I thought that was the best part of the whole announcement, right? That is gold. Because that's what's been the problem, hasn't it? That uh, that's what's created the uh, the biggest inequity in in this in these projects. But not just inequity, but just the quality of the products as well. Because uh, obviously, what happens when you have people? It, it's, it's psychologically several things happens, right? People who uh, have uh, more voting power and influence over the network, people. Uh, generally will flock to their polls not necessarily because they're great polls but because these people got money and they're hoping that they could get some of it through a upvote on a comment or something like that so you know so it, it, it again it's reducing the integrity of the network something that should have never been uh, added into uh, these type systems and, and and so you're losing in that way and then the of course the the big money rises to the top and uh, it just becomes, uh, if you got more money, then you just control the network. And uh, by default, your material and, and your uh, contributions are uh, reflected in that, right? So with something like this, it solves that problem, right? It's just like regular social media. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like regular social media now where you get into social media. Everybody has a chance to become a popular uh, blogger or whatever the case may be, right? It's not a situation where you can kind of just buy your way through that. Um, and so they they saw they solved that problem, right? And so that was that was awesome. Uh, now Dan Larimer also went on to say that there will 
in the future be more things you can do with these cryptocurrencies you know it's an enclosed network right so they might have prizes or or, or whatever the case may be but um it in this way it uh, it will make it, it will incentivize people i think more to want to use it than maybe uh many other these social networks that now in um exist in cryptocurrency right so these are all good things uh, the, the levels of KYC, that might be a little off-putting to some, but I guess it's necessary. You have to have some give and takes with these systems. So this is the pros to this, right? Um, now let's talk about the cons. You know, this this is what the problem is, you know, with, with all of this. Well, the, the, the number one problem I've heard a lot of people saying, and I have to agree with this, is you've taken such a long time to <clears throat> hype everybody up and get this out, right? And then we and we finally get to this announcement. And what do we get? More promises of the future, right? Because when you come to the site, you can't log into the site. They're talking about beta access. We don't get into the site. I haven't gotten an email from them. And uh, so I don't know how long it's going to take to roll this thing out. But I, it wouldn't have just been better to make the announcement when the project was ready, right? You already got the people waiting. You got $4 billion behind you and development money. Uh, there's, you know, there should be like no reason to have people, you know, um, get to this stage and they still can't use the platform. It's still not ready, right? It's still not ready. So uh, that that was the first major problem, right? I guess the second uh, issue now would be uh, in this ecosystem, these voice tokens, as it were, right? We're not really sure. Uh, what we're going to be able to do with them, uh, you know, you can use them to push your content, you know, whatever you're promoting or advertising or whatever the case is, whatever you're doing, you can use these tokens to do it. But that's not enough incentive to mass adopt people, right? Remember, if you take something like Steam, it it was it was models that worked in Steam at models like Steam, it didn't need to be totally taken apart. Only thing needed to be done with Steam it was there needed to be uh, the parts of Steam it that didn't work taken out of it, and uh, you just work upon that, right? You know, if you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, so you know to, to incentivize people to maybe mass adopt over, like I thought maybe the direction they were going in, like how, a lot of things I was hearing and how they were talking. Uh, it would be good as a network to give value back to the people through a uh, cryptocurrency where it is um, valuable and tradable, yet take away the ability to manipulate it through the system itself, if that makes sense, right? Meaning that you still earn the tokens, right? You still earn the tokens, but you're, you're not able to uh, use them on the network, right? So people are able to kind of... Um, trade them you know the value of them back and forth uh over an exchange or uh, if not that uh incorporate the type of ubi into it right that they were talking about that we didn't get and that is using the inflation what about using the inflation the annual inflation of eos uh to put uh eos dollars into this social network so that you know so, so I guess the point I'm making is it shouldn't have even been a voice token. It should have just been EOS, right, that you get. Uh, but you can only get it through earning it, right? And then you could just send it off to the exchanges and trade it, trade your EOS, right? I think that would have made more sense to do that. And they didn't do that. So, you know, I don't think that's going to incentivize a mass adoption of people over, right? Because the, the whole idea of this is about using um uh, social media to uh where you control your data and privacy and these things are very important but we've kind of went over this in, in earlier videos i've done this doesn't go to the top of the list for most people in, in other words people aren't going to i believe leave reddit or leave uh, uh facebook uh to join the eos voice network uh necessarily uh without incentive because they're on reddit they're already incentivized to be on reddit 
right? And uh, the Reddit's already built up its, its, its system. And it's hard to onboard people from another system unless you're offering an incentive that is more than what they uh, have available. And these established social networks, whether it be Facebook or Reddit, uh, people still get a lot of value from them because they're still able to reach a lot of people. They don't have to build up their network. It's already there. And all their um, um, their business contacts and networks and friends and families are already on there, right? So that's the, that's the problem with that approach. Unless you come with something new that incentivizes people to leave, and that was similar to what Steema did that was a successful blueprint and their plan was, hey, you know, now you get paid for your blogging. You get paid for your, uh, um, you know, your contributions to the social network. Just because we make money, we get value. We're giving some of it back to you. I think it would have worked better than that, but it is not the end of it. Uh, maybe it will progress and evolve into something like that later. Maybe you'll get so much EOS for a voice token. I don't know. But uh, um, it looks like they should have had all those things worked out. Um uh, you know, uh, when they made this announcement and, and when they put this together, right? Uh, because, you know, it says here, we think social networking is due for a major rework from the bot mobs to the data tracking to the shady algorithms behind our feeds. Social media has not been a good friend to us. Yeah, you know, that that all makes sense. And, and uh, that's, that's, that's a good uh, uh, point to make. But is it enough to onboard people from Facebook and Reddit and uh, these other megas? No, I don't. I don't think that's going to be quite enough to to get that done. You know, in my opinion, I could be wrong, but uh, I think they're they're going to have a hard, a long, much longer road um, than than they've had. And uh, I think people are going to still use uh, platforms like Steemit and many of the other Steemit clones because um, you know, although they're they aren't perfect. There's still many parameters in them that I think work for many people. But those are my thoughts on on, on the social network part of that. And um, I think after that, I'm, I'm going to move on. But I, I want to move on now to tell you why I think BitcoinNYK.com is still king in this area and gets many things right. So we're going to head over to the over here on the site. And this is what I want to show you guys uh, about BitcoinNYK.com and how we feel social networks should work and the model that they should have used. So what you're looking at is an integration into the Steam blockchain, uh, a social network that is integrated into Steam, but not just Steam. This, uh, this is an internal social network as well, meaning it exists independent of Steam uh, and other social networks. However, uh, if you're already integrated into these social networks, you can get our tokens from the contributions you make on other social networks. And so we'll be doing a similar thing with um, EOS soon. We're going to have it to where um, our um, blockchain integrates into the um, the EOS uh, blockchain. That's because we're a universal bridge cryptocurrency, meaning you can move our cryptocurrency value back and forth. So we'll have a version of our cryptocurrency on EOS doing this very same thing so I, I so i think that's gonna make a lot of eos people happy because they're going to be able to use this uh and trade against eos for it without leaving the eos network so how great is that so it's already set up for steaming so let me show you all what we mean by this here's how this works right one of the big problems with steam it was you know of course if you got you know if you uh, have enough steam power and if you have enough bots, you influence the network, right? So what happens is a lot of hardworking people get left out of the entire situation. It's not merit based; it's um, it's bot based, and it's um, and it's uh, steam power based, right? So you just come in, buy all your steam power, you win the game. So with this, this is more about the community driven and your actual contribution to the community. So if you look right here. It's condensed into two categories, right? How you earn. You earn by your reputation score. Why your reputation score? Because your reputation score is both a version of your Steam Power contribution and how the community sees your contribution, who upvotes you in a variety of things. So this is a kind of milkshake of solving many of the issues because one, let's say for instance, 
People just came in and earned without any contribution. You know, in, in other words, nobody bought any cryptocurrency or anything like that, right? Well, your rep score wouldn't go up unless you have certain SP and certain people with SP voting on you and the amount of SP you have. So that's still a kind of mix in there, but it's balancing the equation, you see. So we go by that and you would earn uh, a tokens, uh, our cryptocurrency, based on what your rep score was in every post you make. So let's say you made a post and you had a rep score between 25 and 34, you get one token. Now the next thing goes by Steam followers. Like, who? why are people following you? People are probably following you because they think your content is worth following or they like you or either way, you add something to the network. So based on the amount of followers you got, if you got one in 100, you get one token. And on every post, see, this is what we mean by not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. You take what works from a system and you uh, keep that and you discard what doesn't work. You don't just redo the whole system, right? And so we're going to do this with EOS. Uh, we have an internal network where you're, if you're not on any blockchain, you can just earn our tokens. And although we're a universal bridge cryptocurrency, a version of our token exists on several blockchains, we are now testing our own blockchain. Yes, that is right. That's our next big announcement we're going to talk about. We're testing for our own blockchain right now, which means you'll be able to mine our tokens as well. So this is a this is a very great project. I think it's the best project out there uh, in cryptocurrency. And you guys tried. I think you're going to begin to see it as well. It does have the universal basic income feature into it, like uh, many on uh, EOS were hoping to see. Uh, it has that. Uh, and it also has, uh, um, uh, you know, just what you get from posting. As you can see, the integration to uh, the Steam it posting site. But again, <clears throat> this will. There is another section here where you can just post as a social network within the um, realm of a social network. You can post, and when you do that, uh, you basically get uh, um, uh, uh, our cryptocurrency right and it's right now it's tradable against the uh, steam uh, you can trade against steam uh, it's on a freedom exchange you can trade it against uh, any major cryptocurrencies on the waves exchange and it's on the steam edge of marketplace but will also be a, a EOS token that can be traded and uh, how it works is universal so you have the same amount of tokens on every blockchain so it's a, it's a very ambitious project <clears throat> people are starting to join up and sign and we're, <clears throat> excuse me, we're really <clears throat> loving the way it's working so far, right? But it does incorporate all those things. Now, not 100% sure. We don't take phone numbers to verify accounts to stop the double spending uh, because Bitcoin MYK, uh, that, this is the next great part about it. It is a side chain for Bitcoin, right? The, some of the things that we theorize what happened with EOS for Bitcoin, we we're already doing with Bitcoin and YK.com. We're using uh, fast um, networks like the Waves uh, blockchain and we're using um, Steam blockchain with a version of our token that if you're a Bitcoin holder, you automatically get it free and, and ratio to your Bitcoin. So what happens, you get to keep your Bitcoin in your wallet, like gold, and use the Bitcoin and YK token like money but it can move from blockchain to blockchain to blockchain so this is a project we've thought about where we've taken the things that work in cryptocurrency and discard the things that don't work and uh i mean people are signing up every day every day i look on here more people signing up but we're leaving our marketing up to the community in other words we chose our whole project is community driven uh, we have something uh, similar to block producers on EOS that we call uh, network suppliers, and they are elected just like EOS block producers. Uh, and so not only is it a community-driven project on the technical side, it's also a community-driven project on the marketing side. So we opted not to take money out of our system, but to give it back to you all in the form of cryptocurrency, and you all spread the message. And you're doing that. However... I, I, you know, it, it just, I, 
the the advantages this project has that so many people are missing out on because either they don't know about it and haven't tried it or they just been so busy they haven't got around to trying it yet. Uh, it, it, the people who are doing that are really doing themselves a disservice in cryptocurrency. No cryptocurrency offers more to the people than BitcoinNYK.com. It gives them everything they would need. It gives the UBI portion. It gives a uh, fair posting system. You can also use the uh, Bitcoin NYK tokens to push your post to the forefront. Um, and in our um, in our um, on our site here on our network. Um, and, and so uh, you can also market and advertise with the token. So it has an eternal system. It has a marketplace. Just a very ambitious project we're very proud of. And uh, we know that uh, it's going to become one of the top cryptocurrencies in the world. We have no doubt about that. Uh, we wish that EOS would have uh, you know, followed a similar pattern to us. We thought they would. They haven't as of yet. Doesn't mean they won't. Like I said, there were great things that came out of that announcement. The fact you can't buy tokens is very similar to ours because you don't buy Bitcoin and YK tokens. They, But they are sold um, by third-party exchanges. That is true. Members sell them back and forth and you can do stuff with them on the network. However, you don't have to buy them. We have a proof participation model where you can earn just as many. Or you can just buy Bitcoin and get them free. And that's what's so great about this project. The best project in cryptocurrency. It's only a matter of time before people catch on and realize and check out what we are and what we're doing. Uh, uh, but I have no doubt, and many of the people who've joined uh, and got involved have no doubt that this is the answer. And that it's only a matter of time before everybody's going to realize it. But that's all I wanted to say in this video, guys. I hope you all are having a great weekend. And until next time, uh, you all take care. Don't forget to join BitcoinNYK.com. It is your project. It is your cryptocurrency. It is your money. All you need to do is sign up and start claiming it. Until next time, take care.